Servus. So today a bit of a different kind of a video. Today we are converting this Gin F25 from Quadmula. I have the plan of converting it with a Flywoo Naked O3 kit and also in the same process making it waterproof with this um, 422C silicone coating so it's lighter and more robust against moisture. I also have the plan of adding a little Raspberry Pi heatsink because I will be conformal coating the O3 itself and gluing this with some thermal glue to the P1 chip of the O3 to dissipate the heat in order to hopefully not have it overheating in flight or also while sitting on the ground. And maybe you're asking yourself also, what's this? It's an eight bladed prop from HQ prop. I've been experimenting with different props on, on this little guy. And like, if you want to see another video on this, maybe I'll make one. I have these three at the moment, uh, um, four bladed ones, which Claude Muller recommends for this build. And I'm also trying some three bladed ones. Uh, they have a two inch pitch and then I have the eight bladed ones, which I really like. They're not as noisy, a bit more quiet. But as you can see, I had one crash yesterday into a tree and I don't know if they're the most durable props. And to have some before and after, let's see. This one's coming in at 159 grams. I'm using the 850 from GNB with it and together that brings us up to 248. Keep in mind this is without props so let's just put this on here with the plastic bag. That brings us to 257 grams in total. Right then um, let's take this baby apart. Probably I will start with the air unit first and I will also share some more details on my plan with the little heat sinks from the Raspberry Pi, I can share those in the video description if you're interested. I will make like a little bit of a hybrid thing because I really like to use the SD card in the O3 to for my videos. And I will probably keep the SD card slot in there and remove all of the metal heat shields from DJI. So... So I now have the O3 without anything connected to it. Remove the camera cable, remove the little uh, flight controller cable, remove the antennas. And now I will take it apart just as you have the instruction in Flywoo's video, which I will not just repeat. I will link to that video here. And um, then I will come back to you with my little plan with the SD card slot and these little heat sinks I told you about. All right, I now have the L3 air unit boards, two of them, which are connected to the little ribbon cable here. And that is the old housing with all of the thermal paste. I will now remove all of that thermal paste as good as I can and I will remove also these metal plates, these heat shields. So I'm now done with cleaning up these boards from the thermal paste. I used a toothbrush, some q-tips and some rubbing alcohol. My plan is to test it out now with the Flywoo naked kit to assemble it together, put it back in the quad. Um, Catch all the wires, see if it still works. Air unit now installed in the quad, it's not perfectly in there, just uh, janked it in to see if everything works and actually it does happily. Um, it wasn't working at first. I couldn't bind it to my controller and my goggles. 
it was powering up though, like it made it a green light and it was becoming super hot. And then I thought maybe I'll need to reactivate it in the computer. I connected it to the consumer drone series DJI app on my computer and I reflashed the firmware because for some reason it said version 0.0.0.0 on the current air unit. And now I binded everything again and it works like a charm. Just gonna quickly connect my battery. Show you, it does get pretty hot uh, without all of the metal shielding thermal thing. So you have to be kind of quick with these bench tests. Um, because when the props are running, it gets a bit more air. See, now it connected to the controller and as well to the goggles. We have video and we have RC link. Good. I disassembled all of the drone components, everything out of the frame. And now I will start applying the conformal coating to the ESC, the flight controller, my little capacitor here, and the two air unit boards, as well as the air unit camera. And I'm gonna research on my computer what exactly it takes to play this um, silicon conformal coating stuff. Just researched a little bit how to apply this stuff to my components here. And the plan is to just use this little brush and brush it on like uh, you would uh, just some paint. I have heard that you should pay attention to all of the connectors as well as like the little boot button. If you plan on using your barometer in the future, just put a little piece of tape on there. Other than that, it's literally just taking that stuff, applying it, and then after 15 minutes, it's dry. And after 24 hours, it's cured fully. So I am done coating everything in the conformal stuff. And as you can see here under the UV light, everything, the reflective stuff is the thermal coating and everything is looking pretty good. And also here on that P1 chip, yeah, I will glue the little heatsink. There you are with my thermal glue to the chip, load it up with thermal paste, thermal glue actually. And now let's glue this together. And it's looking good. Now let's let everything dry and cure. And then we can finally put it back together. I am done with mounting everything back up. And as you can see, it looks pretty flush. Back here with the O3, with the heatsink on it. Little stack is in there, my capacitor back. And the naked camera, as you can see here. I do have to say it looks a bit different or odd from what you're used to with the normal O3, but Let's see, I think it's gonna be fine. And also, as you can see here, everything is nice and coated. Back here, same thing. Now I'm gonna put back the top plate. And then, let's see. 
little test flight coming up soon. I assembled everything back together and let's see what the weight looks like now. So we have zero grams, just the quad, 146 with the battery, 234 and then some props, there you are, again just in the bag, 243, amazing. So we stay under 250 grams even with this bigger battery and if I get the other ones I think I ordered some 4S660 high voltage that should bring us around 225 I guess let's plug in this quad phone startup sound all right, let's see if it's connecting to my controller and goggles. That would be amazing, amazing. Uh, keep talking shit on these videos. Something's connected. Oh, something else is connected. And yeah. we've got video. Hi. And let's see if it works. I don't. No, you should never do this with props on your bench, but let's try it out. Oh my god, it arms. That's looking pretty sweet. But before we come to the test flight, I want to share with you some test results of the air unit with the P1 chip. On the bench, I will be plugging in the battery and just um, we will have a look on the recording of the goggles to see how long it takes until the air unit overheats. And we will compare that with Flywoo statistics. The room temperature here is around 22 degrees Celsius and the air unit is around the same temperature right now. Then let's plug in the battery of this quad. And as soon as the air unit connects to the goggles, I'll be pressing the record button and I will show you the video. And I started the recording. Let's see how long it takes to overheat. And if we compare this data to the flywood time, which is two minutes 20 for the O3 Ultra, it's pretty good. And now let's get into the test flight. Yeah. Let's pause this video here for a second and have a look at a small thing. That is a piece of dust on my sensor. You can clearly see it here. And this is how the O3 camera looks like without the lens. It came off by accident when I tried to refocus the lens. I noticed some blurry images like blurry focus. So I tried to refocus it. And while I did that, I accidentally removed the whole lens. And now there's a little piece of dust on my sensor, which you can actually see here. So in the future, I have to reopen the camera and remove that dust. Then I have a perfectly clear image again. All in all, I'm really happy with the result of this little improvement. It's just very nice to have the extra security of the conformal coating, as well as the weight reduction that helps clearly a lot with the flight performance. I have to do some pit tuning here and there, but all in all, I'm pretty happy. So please like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you have ideas for other videos that I should be making in your opinion, then please comment this below. Thanks very much and see you in the next one. Thank you.